Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting, business efficiency specialists. Your local news in three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with today's top headlines. Today in local news, it was the last day before spring break and the perfect time to throw pies at teachers, right? Well, 70 Noblesville Hazeldale Elementary students had the opportunity to do just that. The elementary students this week raised a record more than $20,000 for the jump rope for Heart Fundraiser, and those who raised the most got to do this. Physical education teacher Doug Atkinson had this to say about letting the kids throw pies at staff. It's just cool for the kids to have that opportunity to do that because we don't do that very often. You know, in other news, Westfield's controversy and perceptions over government transparency were ever evident in Thursday night's League of Women Voters candidate forum for the municipal primary election coming up in May. Find out what your candidates had to say today in the Times. And this week, Pastor Terry Ditzler addresses the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, also known as Senate Bill 101, in her column on page A4. That's your local news. Your forecast for today looks like this. Today looks sunny with a high of only 35 degrees, and while tonight will be mostly clear, that low is going to drop down to just about 21. Sunday brings a 50% chance of rain mainly in the afternoon and increasing clouds with a high near 47. Sunday night we still see a chance of rain mainly before 2 in the morning, otherwise it will be mostly cloudy all night long with a low right around the freezing point. And on Monday, patchy fog in the morning, otherwise mostly sunny with a high near 54 and an overnight low around 40. That's today's local weather and news. Sports with Neil Burke is up next. I'm Neil Burke with today's sports headlines. Today in Hamlin County Sports, State Representative Tony Cook authored a resolution honoring Sheridan High School's legendary football coach, Larry Bud Wright. The bill was co-authored by State Representative Kathy Craig Richardson. It passed unanimously out of the House. Garen Catholic basketball coach Pete Smith loves to talk about his team's two-headed monster at the forward spot. Read about that duo in today's Times. Noblesville High School's John Kaiser has been selected as a member of the Indiana Junior All-Star team. He's the only junior from Hamilton County that made the list. The baseball season opens Monday. Read about the outlook for the defending 4A state champ Millers in today's Times. And that was your three minutes of local news. For more information on these and other stories, Click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Neil Burke.